I will keep shaking while you blow. For good luck. <laughs> that was just for fun. Don't even at me. I don't want to hear it. Hello friends, how are we all today? Today we are doing week three of November, is that right? It is. I was just checking my cheat sheet, sorry. <laughs> so we are ready to get into stuffing today's money and also on stuffing last week's money because I have some money left over. Sorry if you can hear my cra my, my prayer, my chair creaking as I move around because it is, it's a holy mess to be honest. So I have money left over. As we said last week, I was a little bit concerned that the Infinity Challenge let me keep my spending money. I feared for what that meant. Luckily, nothing has happened to me personally. However, um, maybe everybody knows, but definitely my Irish viewers will know of the goings on that happened in Dublin City last week. Um, for anybody who didn't see it, it was there was an attack in town and then that turned into a riot, which is really really rare for Ireland and um, so it was a bit of a weird week a very heavy week even though nothing happened personally and I'm sure a lot of people felt it it's I somebody actually summed it up really really well online and it was that you kind of live as an Irish person in this kind of fairy tale that our country is different to other countries we have you know neutrality we don't have really conflicts or wars that we engage in not not in recent times anyway not to, definitely not from when i was born and for tens of years before that but yeah it just it kind of shattered a dream nearly um i know that sounds so silly but we we just don't have things like that happen here very often we we have crime obviously we have crime and Ireland is definitely not a like an oasis but you do kind of grow up with this idea that our country is a bit different we are shielded from a lot of other horrible things that go on in the world and those things don't tend to happen here but the riots that happened last week were quite scary um they happened in the capital where I live um very close to where I work and yeah, it just wasn't a nice weekend for anybody in the country. Some nice things have happened since. There's been a lot of donations to the the school and the families that were affected and um, people who helped during those times. So I've been trying to focus on that more so than anything. That has been There has been a bit of spending because I, I started donating to some of these things because that just made me feel better. It kind of took me out of this heavy headspace that I was in. But yeah, if anybody was affected by it, even especially if you're, you know, close to that, I'm really sorry. And if anybody had a week like I did, just with that kind of, you know, resting in the back of your head, um, I hope you looked after yourself. So what I have left for the minute. So first of all, I barely have any envelopes left because they just turned into flaps, to be honest. And yeah, <laughs> this is what we're working with at the minute. And I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fix it. We're on week three in November. We'll be refreshing for Christmas. I will manage. But for the minute, we have 20 left in spending, which is great. We were left with 40. Dates is empty. Fun has 15 left in it. So that is great. We love some leftover money. And I don't think the food envelope ever sees a week where I don't spend it now, but that is fine by me. So we can put that into our wallet reserves. The money that goes into the spending envelope comes out just as quick, but you know what? That's what it's there for. So I won't complain. And then fun has... 15, bringing it up to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, and 80. That is brilliant. We have a lot of fun coming up this week. I did mention last week that I have my Christmas due with work tomorrow. So we're going for food in Indian restaurant. Super excited about that. Have never actually, I think I might've had Indian food once, but I've never actually gone for a restaurant. And then we're also gonna do an escape room. 
so that will be very fun I've never done that either now that I think about it so that'll be fun and I'm meeting my new boss because a new lady is starting in work in January and she will be my new boss my current boss although I absolutely love him he's only interim so I'll get to meet her tomorrow so hopefully she's nice so this week we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, and 80. So how has everybody's week been? Did you all fall for the Black Friday deals? I definitely bought a few bits. And you know what? Should have budged it for it. Didn't flex the budget. Everything's fine. Stuff happens. I'm trying a new thing where I don't beat myself up so much about my budget because at least I'm doing it. So where are we going first? My purse. So into spending, we will put 40. The infinity challenge, I would love if it gave me my money this week. But if it doesn't, we do have rollover from last week because on top of, oh God, I hope that sits in there now. Thank God there's a clasp on this is all I can say because that's the only thing that's holding this in. Dates is going to get 15. So on top of my Christmas party, I also have my cousin's wedding on Friday. So I, to be fair, I de as I said last week, I don't think I'm going to be drinking because I'm going to be driving to it. So, well, obviously I'm definitely not going to be drinking if I'm driving, but the current plans are I'm driving. If that changes, I might have a drink, but I don't think that plan is going to change. Fun is getting 15 too. And then I also have a board meeting for the theatre tonight. So I have to go to that at six o'clock. That won't cost me anything though. We're also going to attempt to do our shopping in Aldi this week because why the hell not? We've been Tesco. We started off as Super Value People, which is one of the more expensive brands. And um, then it just got out of hand how much we were spending each week on food so we moved to tesco saved some money but now with the cost of everything going up tesco is nearly as bad as super value was so we're going to try our hand at aldi and see how that goes so where are we off to my binder so yeah going to give that a stab see how that goes i'm excited for the fact that it could be less but either way it's actually going to work out well because my fiance got his pay for his new job today it's not his first pay but it's his first pay on somewhat proper hours and that means that i got money back in my budget we're putting 30 into beauty because i had budgeted as if i would be paying for the food again this month but because he's gotten paid now it means that there's two weeks of this month left that i had money for for both of our groceries but now that he can pay it, I get that money back. So I have 100 extra to go into the 100 envelope challenge, which is unreal. So, sorry, that's hair and beauty. We have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95. I took some money out of here because one of the Black Friday deals I was waiting on is from the Canny Tally. She had mentioned a while ago about the Essence Vault perfume, so that it's a lot of inspired by perfume. So rather than buying the really expensive perfume, you buy an inspired by version. And I've seen so many ads for this, but I thought that it must be, you know, if it's all over Instagram, that it's probably not good and I probably shouldn't fall for it. And then I was watching one of the Canny Tally's videos the other day, and actually it wasn't the other day, it was probably about a month ago, and she mentioned that she likes their perfumes, that she knows a lot of people who wear their perfumes and that they do a Black Friday deal where you can get three 100ml bottles for 60. That's the normal deal anyway. But on Black Friday, they do buy one, get one free. So you can get three, two times three 100ml bottles and that costs like 60 for six bottles. So it was like a less than a tenner per bottle of perfume. So I got two Tom Ford ones two Jo Malone ones and then two of just their own scents and they're all great I absolutely love it so that I took some money out of there for that kombucha is getting 25 and then it's also getting unstuffed because I did a kombucha order so we will have enough to last through Christmas 
So in here is 20, 30, 45, 55, and 60. So I'm just gonna take this straight out. That's going in my bank, back to bank envelope. And yep, that's perfect. Health is gonna get five. Oh, a meta fives. That's interesting. So we have 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. Woohoo, okay. Normally, as soon as I hit 100, this gets emptied again, but hey, at least I don't have to find the money for my probiotics. And I think that's everything going in here. Yep. So that's my binder done. Ooh, it always gets stuck like this. And then in sinking funds, we're gonna do, whoopa. We're doing the long awaited 10 euro into car tax and 10 euro into car insurance so that we can make sure that we have 150 before we cash condense. So we have 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So put a fiver in this next week and then we'll have 150 to go back to the bank. It's so exciting. So car insurance should have 150. So it's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Sorry, 145. Yeah, sorry. It will have 150 next week. So that's that one. And then is somebody else getting something? Christmas. We're just going to pop another 30 into Christmas. So there's a tenner in there right now. And we'll put in a 30. So we now have 20, 30 and 40. This is for just kind of little extra small presents. Do, I think, does everybody get that? But as soon as you start actually getting close to Christmas, I always do my Christmas shopping early. So normally by the end of October, I'm done. And sometimes I even have it done in September. But then when you start actually getting close to December, you get into this panic mode of, I don't actually have enough. And I don't know... I don't think shopping in December would resolve that for me. I think it's always just going to be like that. But next year I'm going to go for 500 for Christmas. And I think it's going to work out basically a tenner a week for Christmas all through the year. Um, I did 300 this year, which is probably a little less than I've spent in previous years. But I had other things I was trying to focus on. Birthdays was open. I don't know why. So that's everything for this binder. And then we have our savings challenges. So, infinity. I feel like this dice is kind of rigged, but I also feel like in saying that, I'm probably gonna get 25 this week. So, let us roll. I actually, I don't think we normally blow for infinity, but let's do it this week because, oh, sorry, can you see? Thank you. Because I could use my money, it's a busy week. <sighs> oh. I think there's something wrong with my dice. <laughs> And I feel like, how long are we going to ignore it for? You know, how long are we gonna just keep me with my spending money and ignore the obvious situation? That was just for fun. Don't even at me. I don't wanna hear it. That, oh wait, why am, I why am I closing everything? It's a full mic drop. That was just for fun. I, I'm gonna take my first stroke of luck and not, not question it. So you saw nothing. Okay. So now I swapped out some change from here with kombucha because we can always use change in the knockout nine. So, okay, let's get into it. Right. Okay, me first. You go. Thank you. Four. Let's just go for a four. Five and six is 11. So nine and two, five and six, 11. It is, isn't it? Yes. So nine and two. You go. Five. Okay. 
All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you blow. Thank you. Five and three is eight. Should we do seven and one or should we do eight? Let's just go with an eight. Was that five and three or was that six and three? Oh no. Okay, well if I messed up, we will find out in editing, but um yeah, I think was that a six and a three or a five and a three? Well look, what's done is done. Blow. <laughs> Four and three is seven. Okay. Okay, let's go with that then. Right. Okay. Try shut the box. <laughs> you go. Extra hard. Thank you. Oh no, we have a one and a five, which is six. Holy God, what's happening? Okay, so we have to roll a four here. Ooh. I will keep shaking while you blow. For good luck. <laughs> oh no, oh, oh. Okay, well, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, you saw it, I didn't move it. It's a three, which we do have, so we can do a three, but that means we're left with one. And I can't obviously roll a one. Or will I try it? Okay, let's live vicariously. Hold on, put this down. Let's see if we can roll a one on this. I did already circle it, but let's just see. Okay. You ready? You blow. I'm not going to blow because I'm bad luck, so. Feck. Okay. Well, look, it's all right. <laughs> That's okay. So we are we need to save a one. Do I have it? No. No, I do not. Can I afford to give myself nine back out of here i think i can so if i put in a 10 and it gives me a five excuse me and then i'll take my twos so four over here and then let's count so we have one two three four five six and change and we have ten 25 30 so we have 36 in the knockout nine i think that's the closest i've ever gotten to shutting the box it's kind of like a, a lifelong dream <laughs> to to shut the box on the knockout nine so that's that one done so over to wildcard now i am not ignoring the fact that i have an absolute multitude of ious in this binder is today going to be the day i sort it out probably not we have a 50 and we have a 20. So what do we want to do? We have no 10s for Piggy. Look at this. It's so exciting. We might have a fiver for jars. I ended on 20 in this. So I'm thinking maybe I have enough to kill the IOU of 15 and maybe finish this challenge. Will we give it a go? We will. Let's do it. I'm going to take the white dice because I feel like these ones just try to... They try to upset me. Okay. You blow. I blow. <laughs> Come on, big number. Five. Okay, so we were on 20. Now what direction were we going? Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So we owe it another 15. So we currently owe it 30. So before I move, I'm just going to sort this out because let's give it a 50 and take the 20 out. And that means that that was that 15 plus the IOU. So get rid of that. You are mine. Okay. So where are we? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Jeez, it's going to be a hassle to try and close this out, isn't it? I'm probably going to give it all my money. Should I keep going? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, if we roll a six, we're back down to feckin' 20. Hmm. I love how she tries to be strategic about it, knowing that the dice is going to do what it wants to do. I could potentially get this done in two rolls. Okay, come on. We'll just do it. The, the urge to unstuff it is just too big, okay? You go. I'm going to let you just be the deciders. Feck. Okay. One, two. Oh my god! Ooh! <laughs> okay, okay, 
Okay, hold on. Okay, so we owed a 10. I didn't even think about the ladder. Okay, so well, sure, whatever we roll now, we're finished. So, thank you, lovelies. Extra hard, please. Let's take her on home. Three. Well, we're done. So, we only owed another 10. Do I have change? For you. Oh, I can get more. Jeez, I'm taking loads of change out of here today. So, take that out. Put in a 20. So, we're going to unstuff her. Stick that all the way up there. So, there were 70 after coming out with snakes. We just completed it again. So, that can go somewhere. Okay. So, what else did we have? Uh, I feel like if I go back to wild card, I owe this 20. I have a 20, but it means I can't actually play wild card. Well, I could. I have like 9 euro here and 10 euro here. What are the chances of us pulling out a very low card of wild card? We're living vicariously today. Let's do it. Who gives a crap if it's another IOU? Either way, I'm going to have to sort out that IOU next week. So may as well go with two, you know? Right. I'm thinking, should we cheat just a little bit? And this week, make... Okay, this week, Jack, King, Queen, and Ace. We're going to make that a tenor. Just to strengthen our chances of getting something that I can actually afford. What can I afford? 30? 30 30-ish? Okay. Well, light a candle and pray for me because I... No, I can't afford 30. What am I talking about? This needs a 20 already, so I can afford a 10. <laughs> 10 or 20 maximum stretching. So let us hope to God we can get this. Ooh, a little bit of a backwards shuffle too. It's gonna... Eh. Just reversing what I just did. Okay. Take a deep breath and get in the zone for this one. Oh, this one's standing out to me. So is this one. No, you were my first love. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How do I feel about that? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, so am I putting in a twin? <laughs> Is this for real? I, I think I'm putting in a 20 to clear out my current IOU. So let's bear with me for a second. We're taking out a 20. We're putting in a 20. Okay. Then I just rolled a 30. However, I have 10. So we're putting in a 10 and putting the 20 back in again. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm good with that. That's fine. I'm going to do something else with my change, I think. Um, because... I don't want change in wildcard. It just gets messy for me. So wildcard currently has 50, 70, 80, 90. Is that right? 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. And there needs to be a 20 in there. So that is fine. We will sort that out next week because next week's the last week of the month. And then we can unstuff it as well. So let's put our cards back. That worked out surprisingly well, I feel, because either way, we were probably going to end up with a, an IOU. So what will be will be. Right. So we have nine euro over here. So I think the best place to go is down to save Upoli. And currently there's four euro in here, which leads me to believe... Is that right? Four euro? So where the hell was I then? Can't be there, can it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Save three. Oh, save one, save three. Okay, let, let's assume we were here. So we shall go for another one. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Save 15. Oh, fucking of course it is. Sorry for the language. Just... <laughs> right, save 15. Well, you know what? I have a 15 placeholder. So, will we roll again and try to get a small number? I'm really pushing my luck, haven't I? What else is there to do? Okay, 
I, do you know what happened there? I didn't get you to blow and I suffered the consequences. So I apologize. Six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So save 10. Okay, well, here's nine. <laughs> Cheeky little nine for you. So I'll give you my nine. And we'll do, which means that's now, what, 13? And we're going to put this in, but we're just going to do a little bit of doctoring of documentation with a little oop right there, a cheeky little line. And then that's a 16. <laughs> that worked out well. Did any of my placeholders actually leave my binder for more than two minutes? No. Am I hurt? No. It's all good. Radio. So that is our savings challenges done. But we need to figure out what we're gonna do with this. Okay, so I think I know what I wanna do with this. So this is 70. Sorry, I knocked my cash tray. This is 70 and my two big challenges at the minute are Florida and Ensuite. However, Ensuite's progressing nicely and this is going to be finished out by the 100 envelope challenge, which is coming to an end soon. These pineapples are all 80 euro each. So, but I do have a little bit that I need to rectify here. So I still owe this challenge 25, I think. So all of these pineapples together is eight times eight, which is 640. But currently in here, I have 200, 300, 350, 4, 450, 70, 90, 500, 510, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 600, 605, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I owe it 15? I owe it 15. Okay. So let's for sake of ease do this for a second so that's 15 gone in there so i can finish this pineapple and then i'm also putting 55 in which is like a little over half so let's say to there i don't recommend trying to color in on an bottomless surface okay so we have finally gotten over the first line of our florida challenge i suppose it's not really a challenge it's just a tracker to track what i'm oops what i'm doing with this oh my god okay right so florida now has 200 300 350, 4, 455, 520, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700? Is that right? No, that was 600, wasn't it? Oh my god. Large amounts, I swear to god. I don't know why they're so difficult, but yeah. <laughs> 200, 300, 350, 4, 450, 500, 520, 540, 560, 570, 80, 90, 600, 610, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 5, 90, 5. Oh, that's upsetting. <laughs> so 695. That is very upsetting. It's okay. It was a stagger onward. This is a slow burn, but we will get there. Okay, so that is everything for this week. If you watch through to the end, leave me a green heart emoji to let me know. And thank you so much for supporting the channel and for watching. And I hope everybody's looking after themselves and enjoying the run up to Christmas and Black Friday. And I will chat to you guys soon. Thanks guys, bye.